Hello. Um, in this video, I will uh, talk on the um, file permissions. Um, so first of all, um, let let me see uh, who am I? Okay, who am I? I am CCH user. So this is my username. And also, let's see where am I? So I type uh, the working directory. Uh, so this is it says home. Okay, but the CCH the home directory of this user. So when I say uh, my home directory, I am not talking on this one. Okay, so where it says home, this is not my home directory. My home directory is this one because there might be multiple users. Um, actually, let's see if, the, uh, if there are any other users here. Uh, if I say home, ls home, okay, so this is the only user here, CCH user. And uh, also, if I want to display the, the content of this directory, I just type ls because uh, I don't use uh, forward slash. This would be root. So when I say just ls, uh, this uh, shows the current um, the, all the content, the files and directory in in my uh, current directory. So my current directory is this one. So if I press enter, then in this CCH user uh, directory, there are multiple directories. All of them are directory. Uh, how do I know that these are directories? I can say ls-l. So this shows that, um, as you can see here, there is a D. So the first character is D. So this represents that uh, these are all directories. And the remaining nine letters uh, are the symbolic notation. Um, so these uh, nine of them represents the permission levels. So uh, there are the first three is for the uh, user, okay, the owner, the, the user owner. And the next three is for the group that is the permission level of this uh, primary group. And the next three, which is the last three in this case, is for the uh, others, that is the rest of the world. Okay. And now here, uh, let's create a directory first. Um, so I say, uh, so uh, make directory. As for the name, let's uh, give a funny name. So let's say, I don't know, um, tomato. Okay. So this is the directory. And let me say ls. Um, okay. So tomato is right here. And now let me go inside of the tomato. And let me say ls. Okay. Tomato is empty. So let me create a file. Uh, so I say, I can also write uh, like any other uh, command such as vi, but touch is okay because uh, I am not planning to put anything right now. So it will be empty. And so touch the name of the file, let's say um, garlic, okay, just to have a little bit fun, uh, funny name. Um, so if I say um, ls, and let me do this, ls-l. So this displays all the files uh, with the L uh, stands for long listing. And so, okay, so here I can see this one. Uh, if I just, there might be multiple files in this folder. If I am not planning to, uh, display, if I am not interested in displaying all of them, I could just say ls-l and then uh, the name of the file that is garlic. Okay, so now I see uh, this one only. And as you see, by default, uh, the user has read-write and the group read-write and then the others read only. Okay, and uh, so now let's uh, display the um, the octal notation uh, for the permission levels. So this is the symbolic notation. So I see that. And so here we type 
uh, stat uh, to display this uh, octal notation and the name of the file um, garlic garlic okay so here uh, with the access level so this uh, zero uh, is for the that is the, the permission is at the file level um, so we are interested in this one so six six four okay so what does six mean uh, so normally um, so if you watch the the videos that uh, i will post um, and also in the reading material it explains that uh, for the read we use four okay and for the write we use two and for the uh, executable ex for the execution we use one so here uh, permission levels for the user read write and no execution okay so read four plus two six okay this is correct six and this three uh, four plus two six okay this is correct and four plus zero plus zero so that is four okay and um all right so what else um now let's uh, change the permissions um, so for this one i can just say uh, chmod okay and let me use plus uh, the equals okay um, let me say um, uh, tch, 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 tch. okay so i want to give user okay user um, read write execute comma uh, for the the group let me say um, so uh, read actually i will i will remove the uh, write okay so um, so group okay so i will uh, I, I will not change uh, read permission i will remove the write permission minus w but i will add um, execution so plus x okay so let me explain what this is this is for the group permission uh, group normally has read write i am not changing read so i want the read permission to continue however i want to remove write and i will add uh, execution okay comma and then for the um okay so if i don't say anything for the uh, others uh, nothing will change okay uh, however uh, okay so let me do this first um, so not then the name of the file garlic okay um, so now let's look at the um, ls dash l and then garlic uh, okay so that's good the others has not changed and for the user we put all of them and for the this one we remove uh, right and we add um, so execution and also um, let me do this um, okay so let me change uh, ch mode um, i want to okay so as you see all of them has read read permission okay so i want to remove read from all of them okay so here i say a minus read okay and then garlic now let's look at the permissions okay so that is good uh, read has been removed from all of them and so now let me put read uh, to a user okay so ch mod so let me add uh, so the user minus i'm sorry plus r so i am adding read to the user uh, what else and let me remove the right and um, and then so um, okay so here is the thing um, so if i so currently the group has 
expects permission only. If I don't say anything, uh, if I don't uh, type anything about the uh, group, okay, so nothing will change. However, uh, I want to remove all of the permission from the group. Then I just say G equals, and then nothing. I don't put anything else, okay? And then here I am not touching uh, others. So the others is uh, no permission. So it will remain as the no permission. Okay, so here I need to put comma and then garlic. Okay, so now let's look at the uh, permissions. Okay, so that is good. So I remove the uh, for the G. So no permissions. Okay, so this is how you do that. So you don't put anything and then uh, it removes all of them. Now let's uh, so now I want to put uh, some content to this file as the user. Uh, Okay, so let me just do this um, echo and I will just put my name and then um, let me put the, this in the garlic. So now let's see what happens. I got permission denied. Why is that? Because I don't have read permission. So I'm sorry, I don't have write permission. Um, so now let me add a uh, write permission to uh, everybody. Uh, so that is user group and others. So I say chmod and then, uh, okay. So for this one, let me, let me do this. I want to say, now I want to use octal notation. I want to give all of the permission to user seven. And for the, um, Okay, so for the uh, group, let me just give write permission only. So read, write. So write would be two. And for the um, for the others, three. So what does three mean? Three means there is no read permission. And we give write and execute permission. Okay, and then name of the file. Okay, so now let's uh, look at the, all the permissions. Okay, so that is good. Uh, user has everything, okay. And group has write permission only, which is two. And this one has uh, three. So two plus one, three. So now if I try to put uh, Bilal Gonen into the file, then it writes. So. Uh, successfully there is no problem so now let me uh, remove read from the user okay so i just say chmod and from the user let me remove the read and th that's all garlic um, so now if i look at the permission level the user do not have read permission now let me try to read the content so cat garlic okay permission denied so let me give uh, read permission to uh, everybody so that is um, chmod uh, i want to give this one to everybody um, so if I, if i do this what will happen so actually this is dangerous so this gives read to everybody however it uh, removes all the write and execute uh, permissions. So garlic. So now let's look at the, this one. As you see, it gives uh, read, but it removes all of the uh, others. So write and execute. So anyway, so let me just read the garlic. Okay, now I can uh, read it. However, can I write anything to it? Uh, so let me just find the echo. Okay, so let me try to write. As you see, uh, the permission denied. Um, is there anything else? I think that sh that is all. I covered everything here. Uh, if you have any question, please um, send me email. Have a nice day.